god! Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Craft. Today everyone, I thought I'd start off quickly saying, <laughs> all right, because at the end of last episode, I was like, I'm gonna fix all me armor. And um, I then couldn't remember how to fix the armor. So if you don't know how to fix the armor, lever armor, you do this in an anvil, right? Just FYI. And also apparently the trident has not been replaced <laughs> or put back, put, put back is the is is the thing so i need to sort that out as well i suppose there we go there's those ones in there also i noticed that the horses on that side are actually in the wrong section <laughs> they should be there this one isn't tamed this one wasn't tamed what went on what the hell <laughs> where did you come from mister why was you not tamed that is that is strange all right, so now that that is all done and dusted, I suppose I actually better go and replace the trident that was missing. First off, though, I kind of need to check what's on the other one. Let's screenshot that. That's all the lance has on it. So now we should head on over to the trident farm, I suppose, because I can't go to the one that I've made into a shop because I have, like, spammed every enchantment on the ones that we sell over at the shop so off we pop so here we are at the trident farm it doesn't actually look like it's working too much at the minute does it i'm assuming that force is near an ocean or near a river <laughs> but that's not why we've come over here i'm pretty sure that we already have yeah we have what three there is that so we have four we have four tridents and none of them have anything on them so let's maybe take all of these tridents then and then I can enchant them and have spare lances for if some clonker hermit <laughs> decides to take it again. I'm gonna find out what hermit that was, I swear. As you can see though, everyone, I've been a little tiny bit lazy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and all the villagers are still down here. I made, ooh, hi. I made all the sections up there all nice and pretty and I didn't actually get round to moving any of these geezers up there. But I did also find something else out the other day. I didn't realise that you could multi multiply uh, a lot of times-ish <laughs> infect the villagers. So where he's like 13 here and 27 here, apparently you can just do the whole like infecting them and getting them cheaper again. So there's a few of these that, oh, hi, um, let's put you away. <laughs> there's a few that that actually needs to be done to. So I'm gonna get to doing that. I don't know if I have, actually, I probably don't have any of the apples and stuff here, which kind of sucks. Now that I've come all the way over here. I just saw that Force had logged off, so I thought I'd quickly come up here and actually do some of the hitting of the drowns so that I can try and get some more tridents. But then that got me um, remembering. I'm sorry, everyone. I have no idea what is going on with my English today. <laughs> it's failing me. But that got me thinking. A few of you actually wrote in the comments about the sword that I'm using because it has flame on it. So I feel like I should probably actually make myself a new sword that's just specifically for this farm. Like that one there. Don't know if they actually drop anything if they die from the fire. Pretty sure they don't. It does suck though because I'm going to have to go back to my base and collect the books because these geezers... Don't actually sell what I need for a sword. <laughs> Never mind. The only issue with these villagers over here, though, oh, <laughs> is that I haven't actually, like, turned these into zombie villagers or cured them at all. So these are very, very, very expensive, which sucks because I don't want to try and get a zombie over here, okay? I've tried my hardest to keep this place a non-evil mob place, and now it's kind of... Um, yeah, not really what I want right now, is it? Because I want a zombie. Hang on a second, listen. Do you hear him? Hi? Where is he? I need you. Where is he? <laughs> oh, he's here, he's here, he's here. No, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. I need you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. OK, 
Okay, 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 okay. No, nope. Okay, where can I get him? There, there. No, nope. there, there. Okay, I've trapped him. <laughs> if I stay here, he's still, still track me. My God. Okay. Oh, don't go and die. Okay, he's holding something. That's good news, right? Hang on, hang on here. There. Get on the cart. Hello? Huh? Huh? He's in! Yes! I'm a pro! <laughs> I was just literally saying that I've kept everything safe. <laughs> and then we find this geezer. Oh my god, that is actually amazing. Hi! <laughs> I'm so happy with myself. Does mean I haven't lit something up around here though, doesn't it? Where would he have spawned? Probably around here. <laughs> what an idiot I am, my God. I'm pretty sure I don't have to name this bloke because he's holding the glass, but just in case, there you are. <laughs> oh dear, that's hilarious. I can't believe I actually managed to do that. Right, mistake, you stay there. I'm not gonna use you today because I really can't be bothered to sit there and watch you murder my villagers. So here we go everyone, the brand new sword that I'm gonna keep over here and this is just especially for you beautiful drowns. See, I'm so kind, I made this just for you. <laughs> you should be so happy. So this thing is so high in the sky that I can only make this to, I think, whoa, fly, there we go. Halfway up, yeah. <laughs> Then I have to rebuild it again, knock it all down and rebuild it. That actually sucks. But I'm now going to attempt to get all of the villagers up to that point. <laughs> and then continue to, uh, yeah, go up. I didn't realise how much of a task this would actually be, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, I could have probably just destroyed the nether portal up there, sent them into the nether. Then um, built one down here. Never mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with what I've already done. So progress report. I've got them all up there from down there. And I've even cleared up a little bit. And now I'm just taking down all of this. And then I'm going to rebuild it up there. <laughs> I should really collect more of this stuff uh, just for these projects. But... I ain't gonna do that now, all right? I've already started, I've got them halfway up and it didn't actually take as long as I thought it was gonna take. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, this is a little bit annoying. I run out, but I'm this close. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, uh, okay, well, it's quite a long way up though in my defense, isn't it? <laughs> all right, let's push these other geezers up then. So all the villagers are now moved. Finally, it's done. That took so long. It was ridiculous. I thought, yeah, that'll only take me five minutes. How wrong I was. But we have everything but one in here, I think. Yeah, so all the rest are actually in there. But one thing I want to ask you, everybody. If I put this here, does that mean that a, a, villa a, a villager, a zombie, or a baby zombie, or a drowned, does that mean they can actually reach the villager like this? Can you let me know in the comments, everyone? Because if so, I'm going to have to change the design up for the cleric. Because I really don't want him to die. Just in case something does spawn in here. Even though it is mob proof. But you never know, do you? So now my job is just to put everything on these. And then <laughs> I've done all of this for one lance, everyone. My God. But we will have backups at least once I've done all of this. And I've also done it because I've been meaning to do it for ages. And now they're safe and sound and... And in their beautiful new little homes. So there we go. Lance has now been replaced. And I've got two spare. Yes, I feel like I've succeeded with something today. Oh, I'm doing so good at keeping this game running, everybody. I swear. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell has happened? <gasps> What is going on? I swear there's more amethyst as well that's creeping up the walls. Oh my god, how many are around here? <laughs> oh my god, they are so cute, but what the hell? Why are they floating around the cathedral? This is like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's 
It's looking so cute though. It's not going with me ice queen theme though, is it? With all the amethyst everywhere. There's there's some there's some spooky things going on over at this castle nowadays, everybody. The animus. Oh god, hang on. This um where did they come from? I <laughs> I contained them in the last episode. So oh no, we should uh, we should probably head down to the lab because oh god how <laughs> All right, everyone. So before I enter, there's got to be something that I've got to do. Because remember, we just don't blend in like this, do we? And we need to go undercover so they don't get scared. All right, I'm ready for entry, doggy. He's like, and so confused. What is going on? It's okay, doggy. It's me. I swear it's me. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way they're looking at me. It's actually hilarious. The other ones are like, who cares who this person is? We don't. Anyway, this little cutie. Look. Look. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's dig through and see if there's been anything that's happened in here. Because otherwise, I cannot explain why. Um. Oh, dear. Hi. Hello. Oh, no. There's, um. There's been. Oh, no. <laughs> No, the villagers, the scientists, not the villagers, the scientists have broken in. Oh, the moon's broken out. I can't tell, but there's more amethyst everywhere. This one's getting confused about how to jump nowadays as well, apparently. Oh, no. The um infestation is real right now. Do you know what's going on, Mr. Scientist? There's a cow up there also. I know, I did. I'm sorry. I did see how embarrassing it was for you trying to jump up yet. Yeah. Okay. Whatever, whatever. Oh my God, everyone, what is happening over at our base right now? There's all of these, they're, they're making babies. Why are you making babies? Look, uh, no, I'm inconspicuous. I'm actually a baby Alimu. You would never guess it, but I am. Um, <laughs> I'm not your baby, I swear. But why are they, why are they breeding? Are you doing something to them, scientists? They shouldn't be allowed to breed. This can't be a thing. They're breaking out everywhere. And why are you in their habitat? Why have you not fixed the place? Oh, everyone, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what to do about this. There's amethyst everywhere. Soon it's gonna happen all over the castle, right? I have to say though, it is really, 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 really cute. <laughs> And I love me costume. I can't really moan. But it does, um, yeah, what else is gonna happen? My god. Are they gonna breed more? Are we gonna find out where they came from? I don't know. It's not my job, it's the scientist's job. Are you gonna tell me where they came from? I know, it, it's the beacon. It must be the beacons from the UFO crash landing site. I think the lab's lost everybody. I think the lab is now lost to the Ali Moos and the villagers that seem to be very happy with each other in there. They're actually all in there. That's actually hilarious. Look, there's the other geezer. <laughs> up there congregating with the Moos. Like I said though, everyone, I think the lab's lost. I'm gonna have to try and contain all of this in the lab. I don't know how we're gonna contain it at all. But I feel like I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on this. This could get out of hand. But look at them, they're absolutely amazing up here. <laughs> oh God, like I'm saying, let's keep them, hang on, there we go. <laughs> I'm saying let's keep them contained at the lab, but they've broken out. I don't know what to do about this. I have no idea how I'm going to solve the whole floating Ali Moo situation. Gonna have to do some recon, everyone. Recon and then ideas of how to do this. I feel like I need your help. I'm a floating Ali Moo now. I have wings, I'm a flying cow. Anyway, ignore me. What are we gonna do about the Ali Moos, everybody? I don't know how to solve this. Why am I so up close in my face? I feel like I'm going mad with the amethyst bug. Let me know, everyone. What do we do? Even the doggy's wondering, look. Yep. Anyway, everyone, I'm gonna have to go away and think about this. This is gonna take me a while to figure out. <laughs> but let's take 
one more look at these geezers. I'm gonna have to go incognito, but wear my boots. Cause if I fall and die, I will cry. And I won't be a happy cow, I was gonna say. But yeah, these look absolutely incredible. These silly alien alimus. <laughs> I love them. But anyway, everyone, like I said, I'm going to have to go and figure out a way to actually contain all of this. But until then, if you enjoyed today's episode, everyone, then please give it a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And if you really enjoyed it, then please hit the subscribe button. So, everyone, I'll see you all next time. Bye.